who doesn't want a flatter tummy without liposuction or a tummy tuck or any other type of surgery? Well, that's pretty much everybody. So if that describes you, then this is definitely the video for you. My name is Dr. Anthony Yoon and I'm known as America's Holistic Plastic Surgeon. And on this video, I'm gonna give you the non-surgical solutions to flattening your tummy. If you wanna get a better six pack or maybe you wanna get rid of a little extra stubborn fat, I've got some solutions that don't involve going under the knife. But the first thing we need to do is focus on the cause. Typically people who have tummies that let's say stick out more than they want it to, it's either a physical issue, like you've got a little extra fat, your skin has been stretched out, or it's a bloating issue. And a bloating issue is dealt with very, very differently than a fat or a skin issue. One of the typical signs of bloating is a tummy that rapidly expands and sometimes deflates during the course of a day. Fat does not typically get bigger or smaller during the day. And so if that describes you, then I encourage you to take a peek at this video right up here where I give you all the solutions that you need, natural solutions, to start targeting bloating. Well, if that doesn't describe you, and you're the type of person that just has a hard time fitting into the clothing that you wanna wear, um, you go, let's say, shopping, and things just don't seem to fit right because you don't like how it fits in your abdominal area, then there are some really nice solutions for you that don't involve going under the knife. Now let's focus on exactly what is causing your issue. If you think that it is a fat issue, if you just kind of genetically have inherited a little bit of stubborn fat from your parents, or maybe your body has changed over the years and your abdomen isn't as flat as it was, let's say five or 10 years ago, then this could be an issue with subcutaneous fat. That's fat that's below the skin and above the muscle layer. Well, this is fat that we can traditionally liposuction, but I promise you, we're not talking about surgery on this video. Well, the good news is, is that you do have some really nice options to reduce that type of belly fat. Several years ago, I mentioned on the Rachel Ray Show that the holy grail of plastic surgery is how do you get rid of fat without going under the knife? And the great thing is that we have actually achieved that. There are devices now that doctors use that can actually melt fat non-invasively. Cool sculpting is more of the original device where you actually will freeze the fat via an applicator that's put on the surface of the skin. Uh, by putting that applicator on the surface of the skin, you can chill the fat so much that it crystallizes and some of those fat cells die. Eventually, your body then clears itself of the fat and then typically after one to two treatments, people can find a reduction in the thickness of fat by about 25%. Sculpture is another super popular non-invasive fat reduction treatment. And unlike freezing the fat like cool sculpting does, sculpture actually will heat up the fat utilizing a laser to cause those fat cells to die off. Now the results are pretty darn similar as with cool sculpting, but one big difference is with sculpture you can treat up to four different areas all at one time. And that's one reason why this is the treatment that we have in my office in Metro Detroit, Michigan. The treatments take about a half hour and they're usually pretty darn well tolerated. And full disclosure, I actually had it done to my abdomen. Now the other option, if you've got very small areas of isolated fat pockets, let's say the armpit area, then we can do something called Kybella. Kybella is an injection of deoxycholic acid, and this is a naturally occurring substance in our GI tract that actually dissolves away fat. And so that can be injected into smaller areas to help dissolve fat away non-surgically. Now, Kybella is FDA approved for reduction of fat in the double chin area, but doctors like myself use it all the time off-label to treat other small areas of fat that can really dissolve away nicely with this treatment. So what about if the fat that you have isn't subcutaneous? It's not fat that you can pinch, it's not below the skin, but it's visceral fat. It's fat that's inside your abdomen around your inner organs. Well, unfortunately, that is not fat that we can remove via M-sculpt, sculpture, or even liposuction. The only way to get rid of fat like that is diet and exercise. Now that might sound a bit disappointing to you because I'm here to give you some healthy hacks to get rid of your fat, but let me give you a couple quick suggestions. If you've never tried intermittent fasting or eating in literally an eight hour window for the 24 hour day, 
That is something that has helped a lot of people target their visceral fat. Fasting is a great way to reduce fat, but also to stimulate your stem cells and to improve your longevity. And if you'd like to take intermittent fasting to the next level, then you may want to look into the fasting mimicking diet. This is a five day diet where each day you eat a very limited amount of calories, but you trick your body into thinking that it's fasting. And the studies show that the weight loss from the fasting mimicking diet actually preferentially comes from the visceral or the intra-abdominal fat. Several years ago, I tried the fasting mimicking diet myself for the first time ever. During that five day course, I lost seven pounds and that weight actually in many years has never come back on. And so I'm a big fan of the fasting mimicking diet. It ideally would be combined with intermittent fasting for best results. If you want to learn more about the fasting mimicking diet, check out the link on my website, dryunonline.com. Well, what do you do if your tummy sticks out, not necessarily from visceral fat or from subcutaneous fat, but what if it sticks out because it has been stretched out from having children? Well, a lot of women after having children develop what's called a diastasis, and that's a separation of the muscles of the abdomen. And when that occurs, the tummy can actually stick out more than you want it to. Well, the first thing to try if you've got an issue with a diastasis or separation of your abdominal muscles is to do the right exercises. And my good friend, chiropractor Dr. Emily Kybird has some great suggestions on exercises that you can do to reduce the diastasis and tighten up your belly. Take a peek. Hey there, Dr. Emily Kybird here with Thyroid Strong. 100% of women that go to full-term pregnancy will experience separation of their abdominal muscles. It is normal, it makes space for the baby. If after four to six months there's still separation, then there is some dysfunction and we need to strengthen the core after we have a baby to help encourage those muscles to come back together. So I'm gonna show you three exercises to help do that. Sometimes there are postural things like lots of sway back or wearing heels or wearing the baby in a carrier on the front that can pull us into this excess sway which will flare our ribs and create this separation of the abs. So all of the exercises are to encourage the ribs to come down and to help the abs close. So start on your back. Knees are gonna be up at 90. So if they're at a true 90, like a Pilates 90, you'll feel an arch in your back, okay? So you want your knees hip width, feet are together. You want your knees a little bit above 90 that will help take the arch out. You're gonna grab your ribs, these floating ribs, and you're just gonna kind of coax them down. You can grab opposite sides. You're gonna take a couple breaths down and wide into your belly. Think of it as your tank of strength, okay? You can start to challenge by doing a dead bug, tapping opposite foot down, thinking ribs stay down. If you start to feel your back arch, don't let it. So breath in here, keep a breath in, exhale as you pull the leg um, back to 90. Just remember, oftentimes you'll want to kind of go really fast for exercises. The slower you go, the more challenging it is. Slow is fast. Second exercise, after we get these ribs down and we get the arch out of our low back, we want to start to engage our oblique muscles. So with our legs here, arms up towards the sky, you're gonna think as if you're rolling everything up towards your elbow and then rolling back down. Okay, so keeping this side nice and engaged. You would do both sides here. So even after five reps, that will feel really challenging. So the third and final exercise is on hands and knees. So you're gonna have your hands underneath your shoulders, middle fingers parallel, knuckles rooted down. You're gonna take your elbow crease and point it towards your thumb. Notice my back is nice and long. It's not rounded, it's not arched. If you can maintain this nice little back, then you're ready for this exercise. You're just gonna lift your knees off the floor and take three breaths in a beast plank. Nice long neck, soft chin, good, and then knees come down. Just making sure those ribs don't flare, that they are knitted down. So those are the three exercises to start to get your abs back, create this tank of strength, and start to close that diastasis recti. Thank you so much, Emily, for these great suggestions. All right, well, what can you do if you've been doing the exercises, but you maybe want the help from somebody like me? 
Well, there is a device called mSculpt. This is a device that utilizes electromagnetic energy to stimulate your muscles to contract 20,000 times over a 30 minute session. It is absolutely painless. It's a device that literally just is placed right onto your abdomen and it stimulates those muscles to contract. And studies show that after four treatments spaced over two weeks, you can reduce your diastasis by upwards of 11% and you can thicken the muscle by 15% and reduce the fat by 19%. So that is a lot that the mSculpt does. So I always recommend starting with the right exercises, but if you wanna take that next step, then mSculpt just might be an option for you. So we've gone over what to do about fat and what to do about a diastasis or separation of those muscles. But how do you treat loose skin? Well, unfortunately, this is where surgery is oftentimes the only real option. A tummy tuck is a way to remove excess skin of the tummy, but you unfortunately trade it for long scars and it is a bigger operation. There are some minimally invasive treatments, however, that can potentially help with skin tightening today that we didn't have even just a few years ago. Body Tight and Renuvion are the two newest minimally invasive, so they are surgery, okay, but they're minimally invasive surgeries to tighten up the skin of the tummy. And these treatments work by heating up the deeper skin to cause that skin and the collagen to tighten up. It is still surgery though, and the results don't quite match that of a tummy tuck, but for those of you who have, let's say, a small amount of loose skin and you really want to do something about it, then Body Tight and Renuvion might be worth looking into. Now, if your issue is not skin, fat, or muscles, but it's bloating, check out this video right up here where I give you those solutions, natural solutions to help get you started reducing your belly bloat. And always remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.